Drax better appreciate how dangerous this dumb plan is. Oh, Green Mini loves you all so much. He does? In most timelines, anyway. There are a handful where he murders you all. And I... watching. What the fuck? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Will? You best friends? the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cake! Oh, Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom! Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. Greenie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. Looks like there's something on the other side. Too bad Drax is out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond, or beneath, or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. Almost jump into the water to make the creepy crawly feeling go away. See that, Greenie? That's where we need to be. You could lift this? That's good. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark all shot. My neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. I spy with my little eye. You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, 
Yeah, this cave is multifaceted. Get it? See that, Green Mini? That's where we need to be. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. You just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. We're recovering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. Here goes Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Oh, oh that's it. I'm going in. Clark, get it. Blow up the statue, save Drax, and get out of here. Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, don't no, do I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're already doing. Just hear did. Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? If the whole place collapses, then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Gru, can you tell him to stop? Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Did she or did Rocket do? Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep. Thank you, run! one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. Do something again, Quill. He saved Drax after you almost killed us all. 
And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, more of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? This is a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> Come to this floor! 
Courtney Kane! Save some anger for Raker! Try to die quietly! Ugh. Took out another Nova Corps weirdo! Cloud of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah. Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! I don't think we're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Well, as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. Uh uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? Yes! Just a plant, man. Not a you. We ain't got much choice. It must still be stuck somewhere. Hell holding on. That's one big bean stalk. guys do without me. Yeah, where oh where will we get another gun? Help! Boat! Now! Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Leader of the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Kadath? 
Oh, you know he has some potassium fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the potassium equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. So this Jack Beanstalk guy, is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which, obviously, he climbs. Yes! Can't believe that works. That works. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. Before we left the ship. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. If I jump, you can catch me, right? Yes, we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the house. Leave him behind. Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, <laughs> group never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Just like that. Please don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. None of their business. What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Drew, a little help? <laughs> That's great right there. Raise that thing, Groot. I am Groot. Here's good. I am Groot. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Up we go, Groot. I am Groot. Thereabouts. Mantis, any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking! Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Bad, you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? 
I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Fuck. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Ooh, this part. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flartnards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball thing. I can't tell. Warmer's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? Hellraisers! I know what I heard! has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's definitely those jellies from Seknar, if I can hear their spiky things shooting out. What do you know? Rocket strikes! Hey, that was right too. Pretty much sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. What do you mean, shh? Star Glass, right? Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog enemy has retreated from now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. 
So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Starbuy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Stretch up, buddy. I am Do you all feel that? We're so close. Let me guess. Further down. Only if you want to save Drac. Okay. One last time. Bye. I don't remember this part. Okay. Okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the destroyer, not Drax a rampaging criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. Hey, Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us, and that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? Such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches!
Please just save Drax already. Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing.
sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was going to feed us to some Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Foolish followers. Think fast, beard butt. You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! You cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the Sanctimonious Shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this, and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? <laughs> So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. 
find him and convince him to come back to reality.